Hello. In this video we are going to copy and create a new component. And that's basically cloning a default SXA component and configure it in another way. So for this video I'm going to use the promo component because it is a very useful component for many different content um, uh, parts. So when you have a content driven site uh, you will end up with a lot of different visual elements, for example, a teaser component or uh, or promo um, or a hero image or a contact person. Um, it's all information that is uh, uh, styled and displayed in a different way. Uh, you can use the promo component for it, but you will end up with a lot of rendering variants and it's just not uh, user-friendly for your content authors or marketers. So it's a good practice to make copies of components, give them other names, other icons, other data templates, so they're totally unique um, and it will help you and your end users to make a user-friendly content management system. So let's get started. Um, you will always start from the content editor. So we are going to system and then settings and then we're going right to right click on the feature folder choose insert new module and we're going to create uh, a hero component a hero module and that can be used to um, for example add large hero images with some text on top of it that can be used as intro components for a page for a landing page um, we're going to add the module to the feature because this is not something that should be uh, stored in the foundation uh, or anything else. Um, you don't have any other options but you can select some subfolders but we're going to add it directly underneath the feature. So it's good practice to not store uh, custom components or custom stuff that's different from the default SXA stuff in the SX experience folder uh, because you will probably get some issues when upgrading. So do it in the feature folder uh, and at least outside of the experience accelerator folder. So we leave all these folders selected, um, all these items selected because it will SXA will now create folders within those areas and we're going to deselect the tenant setup because we want this component to only be added on the side level and not on a tenant level. So what this does is that you will get an option um, for each side to add this module um, when a site is created or when a site is already created. Then this is the way that you can help your end users by adding the modules afterwards. So hit proceed. And now SXA and the PowerShell scripts in the background are doing a lot of stuff for us. So click close and as you can see now we will have a hero image uh, sorry a hero folder in here um, and also when we're going to templates for example underneath feature you will have the same hero folder and the hero folder is added to a number of other places so this is step one and the next step is to clone and copy a uh, rendering so we're going to layout renderings feature Experience Accelerator. Oh, here you already saw the hero. We're going to add the copy of the promo here. So open Experience Accelerator. Scroll down to the page content because that's where the default promo is stored. And we're going to right click on the promo. Choose Scripts. Clone Rendering. Now we will get a new wizard. Uh, we can configure some stuff for our new component. So let's give this the name of hero. And we're going to add the module not to the page content but to our new folder hero and uh, we can give it a rendering CSS class so let's go if it's the name of hero the class of hero now for the rendering parameters we are going to make a copy uh, we're not going to use the same because any changes will affect both modules then uh, the default SXA promo and our new one and the same applies for the data source we want to make a copy of the original data source and for the view, we will leave everything as it is. Um, you can copy an MVC file, but then you will have to specify the path. So we have to go on the file system. Um, I would recommend doing it, um, but for the sake of this video, I'm leaving this as it is. 
uh, but ideally you want to copy this as well just to make sure it's absolutely isolated so click proceed and now as I say and in the background the PowerShell scripts are setting up a lot of stuff for you so let's give it a second it's finished hit close and this is step two so let's take a look at some things that has happened so underneath the templates feature hero you will see that there are a few new templates edited so the first thing that I would like to do is to change all the data template field names so we're going to change promo to hero and we're going to add a hero title we are going to give it a hero subtitle and a hero link and in the end um, use this one a hero image well let's say background image so everybody understands what we're meaning with this field just going to copy some of these elements so everything makes sense um, and we're going to make this one uh, a single line of text where are you there uh, this is also a single line of text so this can be deleted the subtitle can be deleted uh, this is going to be an image and uh, this should probably be it so, so let's save this one by hitting ctrl s or clicking the save button and now you will see that everything has changed here so I'm just checking some other things this l is looking good so we have changed the default data template um, and now we are going to check some other things so let's go to system and then to settings feature and to hero and in here you will see a hero site setup item and underneath here you will see uh, available renderings and data item and the rendering drawings folder with a hero item as well so what this tells uh, SXA is when you create a new website, a new site in SXA, you can uh, select or deselect the hero component to be installed on your website or if you have already created it a website you can add this new component afterwards and it will uh, use this configuration to instruct what uh, the component should be look like, how it's set up so for example that you have a default rendering variant and that you have a data uh, template that must be used um, and it's all configured for you so when we're looking at the rendering variant that is also created we can go to templates branches feature hero it has created the if folder here as well and you will see that you have a hero default variant um, and if you're familiar with uh, SXA and rendering variants you recognize this one uh, but we need to change this as well because in here it says promo icon, promo text, etc. So it is basically the copy of the promo, uh, but we can change it. So when I right click on default, I choose insert, and you can see that you will have all the default elements that you will also have when you create a rendering client within your website. So I'm going to delete all the default stuff because I want to build this up from scratch. and I'm just keeping it simple for this video so I'm only going to add a hero title because that was one of the fields and I'm not going into the details of the rendering variant uh, and I'm going to add a hero abstract so we're just um, displaying two different fields now let's make this change so the order is correct um, and that's it we have changed the copy uh, rendering variant so it will now work with our data template so this means that we are almost good to go um, so let's give it a test I have a tenant and a 
default website here, the brand a corporate website, and when we're looking to the data folder, we don't have any hero folder in here. And on the presentation uh, rendering variants, we also don't have a hero item here. So if everything works all right, we can right click this website, choose scripts, and uh, choose add site module. Um, now I have installed already a lot of modules on this brand a corporate website, so I will only see those modules that I don't have installed. And those are the analytics contact person, which I have created it earlier, and the hero, there it is. So I'm going to select this one, hit OK, and now it's going to install the hero module on my brand A website. So this can take a few seconds, so there it's done, hit close. And when we now look to under data, you will have the hero item here. On the presentation rendering variants, you will also have the hero item and in here you will have our default rendering variant we just created. So let's add an item underneath hero. I'm going to right click, choose insert hero because I want to show you that we need to do one more thing. Yeah, I want to save this one. So hero item one. Because when you change the data template like I showed you and set up everything, um, it, it should work, but when you create a new item you will see that we have text image link text to fields and that, that was not the, the, the fields that we changed. So if we scrolling down to the templates section, let's close that to keep it clean and we're going to feature hero and then to the hero item. Um, when you click the hero title you will see that the title, the display text, is not changed. So we are going to add hero title in here. Hit save by Ctrl S or the save button. We're adding hero subtitle in this one. And hero link in here. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Okay. And this will now here a background image uh, give the right field names to our fields the right display text so when we're going back to the top uh, i'm in my brand a site data folder hero and my hero item one now we will have the names that we expected so hero title hero subtitle this is nice and I leave the other fields empty because the rendering frame does not include those fields so they will not be rendered on the page. So we're going to close this uh, options. Um, we need to do one more thing. Um, we have to make sure that the rendering is available in the toolbox. So underneath available renderings um, we can edit uh, somewhere um, in another uh, part or we uh, can leave it as default as it is for some reason it has called it brand a corporate website so we are going to change this to hero so it makes more sense um, and now we are going to test our setup so I'm going to one of my pages and I'm right click choose experience editor and see if we did everything all right so the page is loaded and we're going to add a component here um, and we have a hero tab here and a hero component so when I click cancel and I'm checking the toolbox it is there as well so we have the hero section and the hero component and we can drag and drop it on a page and the pop-up to choose a data source item is showed and here we have the hero current site and the hero item one we have created earlier hit OK and if it's loaded um, you will see that it shows the two values that we added to the item 
um, and it has a default rendering variant. So this is it. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope it was clear to you which steps you can take to copy um, a default SXA component. If you have any questions, let me or one of the other uh, guys know. Uh, we are happy to help.